Hi, my name is Willix, and this is episode 11 of Project Ozone 2 Reloaded. We're here today on the frozen map in Titan mode. So, uh, first I'm going to show you how to spawn a blaze with a doll. Then we're going to make some of the MFR machines, the pulverizer, the redstone furnace, the sawmill. I'm going to show you how to make uh, leather with the sawmill out of string. Uh, we're going to make the induction smelter. We're going to combine it together with a cobblestone framework that we're going to make. And we're going to use that to make rich slag. We're going to uh, deal with a little bit on storage drawers. And we're going to make some ender chests. And I'm going to show you how all I've set all that up to start uh, storing stuff a little better. And we're also going to make an experience obelisk because I now have an experience fluid cow. So before we get started, uh, I've made a couple of changes to my uh, config files. One was to fix a bug with iron blocks. With iron block, if you make an iron block, you can't turn it back into ingots nor normally. But if you uh, go into the Unidic config and you take iron out of the metals to unify list, then it works. Um, I put a link in the description of this video um, to show you where to do it and what to do. The other change I made is so that you could hear me when I was near the bio generators. I changed the mechanism config. I turned the son sound volume from 1.0 to 0.1. I could have done this by um, this. Options, music sounds and turns blocks down to like five. But uh, then you couldn't hear chests open and other things. So no, I wanted you to, I did this for you. Okay, so first off, um, I'm gonna want some blaze rods later on in this episode. So let's get on to uh, spawning that blaze. So the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna use a doll. We're going to need an angry doll. To make an angry doll, we need to make a precious doll. So we need some porcelain clay first. So clay is over here. We're going to need five of them. Put that with some... There we go. And... Oops. I think the porcelain doll... Is, no. How's the porcelain doll? Oh, with an emerald. Got lots of emeralds, not as many diamonds yet. And then we may need to make an angry doll. So for that, I need four blaze powder on netherwort glowstone. I don't have any of those over here. Uh, netherwort is there. Uh, one, two, three, four. And two of you. Okay, that should be everything for the angry doll. There we go. And notice I have a safari net on my bar. That's important. So we come over here to our barrel full of lava, and we put the angry doll in. Now notice, let's see if I can get it somewhere where you can actually see it. It says, sum let's not forget, there we go. Summoning 70%, 20%. It's summoning something. Oh, while that's happening, I got a fluid cow with cry cryothium. And I put uh, cryothium instead of water. So we've got plutonium and uh, cryothium now for this. So we're getting uh, twice as much as we were with lava and water. OK, how are we doing on this thing? Getting close. So currently I'm pulling out uh, LPG so I can make some plastics, liquid EXP, uh, resident, I went back to resident ender because I used it all up making some stuff, gelid cryothium, and still serve, oh, there you are. Hello. Thank you. Okay, and I gotta remember to press control. Somebody complained that I moved too slow. And we'll come up in here. We'll pull out, uh, put that in, put the old one down here, and 
flick the switch, and that'll start spawning blazes and killing them. Um, I had when I put slimes in here, I had too much, too many loot bags filling up here really, really fast. So I ran a line so it dumps the loot bags over here. Something else I did here, I put in a uh, um, a loot recycler. It's really cheap. It's easy to make. Loot recycler. It's just stone around a chest and an iron ing ingot. So what happens there is the loot from loot bags, this chest was full with stuff that I did not want to save at all. Mega rubber saplings, etc., etc. So I feed them into this and it pulls loot bags out the top with all the junk loot. So instead of me trashing things, I think I've only got arrows in there right now, it's uh, recycling the loot from the loot bags, making more loot bags, setting them back here, and running through the whole thing, opening them again. So that I can hopefully get more of things like this here, this uh, uh, black lotus, the glowing ones. I may actually uh, take a whole bunch of this stuff. Um, i got to figure out which things come from the loot bags that I don't want and uh, start recycling even more of it. Okay, so blazes are doing their thing. Let's come here and, oh, something else we should do just before we get started. Um, I ca cashed in all the quests I had and got the loot bags off uh, screen so I didn't have to do the uh, whole thing when I've given when you now have the list so let's uh, make some full hearts okay and now let's open some bags so I've got three basics ten goods four graders Visible bedrock, quantum, yeah. basic bin, eh. Elevator, useful. Hard glass, junk. Xanite ring. Uh, let me show you what that is. I really don't care about it, but it doesn't go in the baubles. It goes in this one. And you put the xanite ring in there, and as soon as you drop it in, it has durability. It increases mining speed. Right now, I don't care about my uh, mining speed. I will care about... Oh, I've got two of them. I will care about it later when I go to the Aether. Okay, let's see what else we get. Sponge. You can use that to clean up large sections of water. Laser focuses. Oh, light blue. Another portal gun. That's useful. Another basic pin. Who cares? That's useful, but I think I already got it. Sky root. Those are the reward. Um, those might actually be useful right now, since I haven't been to the Aether yet. More of those. Okay, on to our graders. Let's, uh, yeah, that's aether. So I, if I can plant them here, I can get the wood and start making wooden tools before I get to the aether for use in the aether. The way the aether works is your regular tools aren't very effective. So you've got to go through wood, stone, um, gemstones, um, making new picks each step of the way. So you might, might make yourself a wooden axe and a wooden pickaxe to use in the aether. Okay. Withering, strength, leaping, and regeneration. Hmm. Well, don't want it twice. What is this bow? Yeah, I don't think that's the uh, the awesome one. We'll take a look. And that. Yeah, no. There is a bow in this that's just incredibly good. It's seriously OP. Um, and 
this definitely isn't it. The old Peebo uh, does like, you know, 999 damage, uh, has no drop rate to it, is unbreakable, has, um, comes with a set of uh, bolts that it's a cro crossbow. It's super fast to ultimate killing machine. Okay, um, we were getting on to some of our machines. We wanted the uh, pulverizer. I don't think I got flint in there. No, I don't. That's this. I haven't got around to putting it in the drawers yet. I haven't got much in the drawers yet. No, what else am I missing? I don't know. I think I've got everything. Oh, I know what I'm missing. Machine frames. Notice they're resonant machine frames. <coughs> I made those off camera. It takes a while for that machine to uh, do its thing. Not that bad. It's pretty fast with that many lasers. The only thing that was even mildly interesting was the way that I did it. Uh, when I went to make the uh, endurium, this lithium, no, sorry, lumium, lumium, and the signalum, the way I already had fluid cows for the redstone, glowstone, and resonant ender. So, a uh, resonant ender. I put a tank up here, uh, like a full drum plus a little bit. Uh, I put the metals in here first that I needed. So, and then an entire drum full, and I did eight stacks of each. Um, that seemed to be about the easiest way to do it, as far as I could see. All right, let's get back to making our uh, pulverizer and our redstone furnace. Where is it? There it is. Oh, we're going to need bricks. And I. So to make bricks, you take clay and you cook it. And so I cooked some clay already. And make our two bricks. We got a redstone furnace. onto the sawmill. So we're going to need to make an iron axe and we've got everything else. Uh, iron axe. And I don't think, because of the axe, I don't think it's going to go in automatically. What was on the sides? I think it's just wood planks. Yep, sawmill. Okay, so we're going to show you how to use that. Um, I've got some already, but I'll show you how you make it. We take string. This like that. Get a bunch of this. And we're going to make a pair of pants with it. Oops. The rest of that back. Okay. And we'll come right over here. Remembering to press control so that people don't complain that I'm too slow. And that's our pulverizer. We'll put it right here. 
We'll put our furnace there and our sawmill there. So then we take the leather pants that we just made out of string, put it in there, and boom, we've got five leather. So we're turning just a little bit of string into a bunch of leather. I don't really care at this point in time because I can have all the... Um, I will leave them go for a sec. No, actually, let's deal with that now. Because I can put uh, fluid cows over here and um, get all the leather I want. Okay. Just need something. Okay. Um, so next up is the induction smelter. And we're going to need a bucket. Do I have buckets over here? I know I've got a whole stack of buckets, or a bunch of buckets anyways, not a stack. Somewhere. There. There's buckets. Okay. One induction smelter. Now I want to combine it with a cobble work cobble stone framework. This guy here from Ender.io. I'm going to use it to make my sand. So framework controller, I'm going to need a bucket of lava, a bucket of water, and a machine frame. We can make the basic gears while we're here. Oh, no, we can't. I'm not even going to have cobble in there, am I? two of them. And what was I off to get? Oh, buckets of uh, lava and uh, water. The two buckets I carry with me all the time. Where are they? Oh, something else. I started working on the uh, flowers for uh, um, Batania. And the uh, growth pulsers are underneath this, running 12 in a row directly below this block, all straight down, to try and help me um, get my mutations quicker. Notice in this case what I did was I took the uh, two flowers that I needed, and those two flowers, and I let it spawn in all four spots, and then did the middle one. But that's as far as I've gotten. I haven't done any more with that one yet. I get bored doing that. Okay. Is that everything? No. Oh, I don't have a machine frame here yet. There we go. And we got our buckets back. Quite clear glass and silicone. None of that's in there. Quite clear glass. I think I've got some. Yes, I do. And silicone. Yes, I do. And how much of that? I need four of these. One, two, three, four. And then this thing here, one of them. And then 
that should be everything. Yes, it is. Let's put some of this stuff back. Okay. Oh, one other thing I'm going to want from here is a sag mill. Oh, and before we go set this up and I show you what I want to do with the induction smelter, I want to get a couple of things. Uh, I want to make some uh, ender chests. Okay, so we got our blaze rods, we got our ender pearls, wool. I think wool is up here. Yeah, we'll make four of them. What are we missing? Ender pearls. Okay, and I'll need a little bit of dye of some sort, so blue is handy. We'll use blue dye. And I think I've got everything. Ooh. Just in case you don't know about this one, uh, do we have any made here? Yeah, we do. We want that and some iron. Yeah, see, th this wouldn't have shown up correctly. You wouldn't have seen blocks of iron on this until I made that config change. That's when I looked at it and went, hmm, I need to deal with that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you how to do with this, uh, that's going to go there, that's going to, we'll put the induction smelter right here. And one of the things you can do with it is you stick iron in here, coal there, and it's going to spit out steel. Okay, we'll let that run for a sec while we do some other stuff. I'm going to need you, one of you, and you. So we'll put this down right there. And I'll put my ender chest right there. And I'm going to mark the ender chest all blue. Okay, and then we're going to need, well, your energy conduit. That's not what I want. I want item conduit. So in you, we're going to stick a sag mill. And look what happens. We get sand and gravel. Now for our export here, is that the side we're looking for? Yeah, I think so. There. So we're going to set up a cable there, and we're going to need a filter. We can get away with uh, one of the cheap filters here. We're going to want a more advanced one for the other thing. And we're going to want, well, to extract sand. Let's, uh, okay. So now that that's done, put the sand in there. That's it, you to extract mode. Oh. We also need to configure you. Uh, we want that to, no. 
We'll set you to green. We'll set you to purple. And we'll set you to orange. I'll put that there. You're going to extract. You're going to insert. Okay. Oh, and you need to be a insert. All right. Now, don't get in the beam. Well, before I go too far, we're going to put an advanced filter in here. And then we're going to pick out a bunch of uh, metal things that we don't care about. Ferris, uh, let's move some stuff over so I don't get as confused. Ferris, um, gold, silver, lead, iron, copper, tin, aluminum, I forget. Tungsten's the one that doesn't cook, right? I totally forget. Forget what zinc does as well. Osmium, no. We're not doing it with that. Did I already have aluminum? I got one type of aluminum. I guess we'll take the other type. I don't know if you cook or not this way. I'll experiment later and pick out some of the others and find out what goes. We're shiny. Uh, do I care about shiny? Ah, uh, not really. Okay. So now up here we put a ferrous. That. That's a full set anyways. And put it on extract. And you're going to come... Actually, let's turn off the extract mode for just now. You're going to come in the top here. You're going to be an insert. So it's going to go into this one here. So see, it's coming into here. And it's cooking. And stuff's coming over here, including rich slag. And we're getting two each for it this way. We could get more if we cared. For instance, if we were still short gold, which we're not, um, we could come, and there is a more efficient way to do it. I got some gold here. I'll show you. If I cared at all about the gold, I would come over here to this, uh, I'd grab some coal. I'm going to need this thing in a sec, so I may not let it run all the way. And you get three instead of two. Okay. So now, I am going to come over here. Dig a little hole under here. And I put down another one of those chests. And we're 
going to mark you with blue. So see, we're seeing all the same stuff as was over there. Oh, before I automate this, yeah, I did something funky over here. I need my key. Notice how I have all the drawers locked. There, that one's locked now too. So the stuff can't just willy-nilly go wherever it feels like. Oh, and I'm going to want one other thing over here. And okay. we're going to put item duck there. Your extract, your insert. And we'll turn extract on. So it's going to put whatever it can into the drawers. Um, I don't have to come. Whoops. You're not to be that way. I have to finish that part off later. Okay, so we're going to come over here. And for instance, this chest is really annoying me. It keeps filling up and I have to keep emptying it out. So I don't want to have to do that anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into here. I'm going to grab my cardboard box. Put it down on that. Break it. Oh, damn. I'm not going to be able to jump out of there. I need high jump or high step or whatever. And we're going to take and we're going to put another one of these down. And we're going to mark it all blue. And we're going to. Um, So all that stuff that was feeding into there is now going to feed in here instead and get automatically shifted over. And I'll have to start placing the stuff that's coming over. Like I'll open this up and I see that I need to place rich slag and I'll pick a spot, drop it in. Well, let's do that right now. Um, oh, these two drawers up here are void drawers. Uh, let me show you what I mean by that. I need an open hand. shift. Okay, so it's got a void upgrade. So if it goes over the amount that it's supposed to hold, it just destroys it. Um, in other games, like Project Ozone 1, I always had too many cocoa beans, too many cactus seeds, too much that, too much flint. I usually had too much gunpowder too. I seem to be getting a lot of that. But gunpowder is useful, so I debated whether I'd put it in there or not. Uh, coal, I gave it its own entire drawer because I want all the coal. I'll be using it later for something. All right, so our cardboard box, we're going to place it here temporarily. Shift right click. Whoops. Shift right click. Now when we look inside, all our stuff is still there. So we're going to come around here again. And we're going to put you on extract. And then again, as I pick the, uh, I'll go through each of these things. See, it's taking the coal right now. And it'll take the diamonds and the emeralds. Oh, notice I put diamonds and emeralds there. I did that for a purpose. Oh, same with redstone and glowstone. And I actually did that for a purpose. Let's show you that purpose right now. Uh, 
Okay, I've got uh, diamond coming out here. And it's, but it's coming out as nuggets. So if I now send it to a chest, um, what do you, oh yeah, right. If I now send it to a chest, so let's put down another chest, the fourth chest. And we'll mark it blue, blue, blue. And you make it you an insert. Now, for this I want a filter. And I'll probably pick an advanced filter for this. Because for instance, I don't want pumpkins. Actually, should I do it as a blacklist? Yeah, maybe. I'll do this as a blacklist instead. Well, I really didn't need an advanced one, but we'll leave it here anyways. So our blacklist is... I need a pumpkin. Don't go away. Okay. So there's a blacklist on that for extraction. And it's going to start shoving everything into uh, this chest now. And it's got a place for the diamonds and the uh, other stuff already. Okay, so all that's done. One last thing and then we'll end the episode. Uh, we're going to do the experience obelisk. It's actually a little trickier. Oh, damn it. I've still got all this stuff on me. I'll put that away later. I'll just get stuff out of my inventory. Okay. So, the experience obelisk. This is a little more complicated. And we need glossonic steel. Electric steel and some glowstone dust. I already made one. We need magical wood and solarium in that pattern. I'm trying to memorize it right now. Okay. Have we still got magical wood? Yes, we do. One, two, three, four. Whoops, that's five. We want four. We want that. And we wanted that. Good, you just finished. Good timing. Okay, we'll let that run. What else do we need? Oh, all the rest of the stuff is obvious. Okay. So I need this and one more machine frame. Let's see, from that one stack, we got three stacks of gold. Okay, experience obelisk, boom. I forget whether it's faster to do it. Now nah, we could have gone the other way. Oh well. Okay, uh, yeah, it would have been faster if we'd gone the other way. I think I'm going to stick it here for now. Or about right there, I guess. And fluid ducts. Where are my fluid ducts? There they are. And put down our experience obelisk. Now, oh, does this guy need power or something? I didn't think he did. Uh, we 
switches allow pull, I guess. Um, so why can I not put my experience? Oh, store all. Oh, retrieve all. Okay, store all. There we go. All my experience is in there. And then the other thing I want to do is I got a couple of uh, barrels here, or drums here. And where's my wrench? There's my wrench. I'm going to place the barrel there. I know I could have done it on the other one, but I would have forgotten and left it in the wrong position. And you're going to be extract. And you're going to be insert. And yes, it's empty. Okay. It went in. So now we'll get you. Put you down. And all that's being extracted in there as well. So now when we go to do uh, enchanting and things, I'm probably going to get rid of that. Well, maybe not. I don't know. This is just a convenient place to put this. Whoops. filled it up just by clicking on it. Can I empty it? Yeah, I can. Cool. <laughs> okay, I didn't need to go through all that. I could have just clicked on it with the thing and it would have uh, emptied out. Good to know. I never tried that. That was a total accident. And we'll put those in there. I've got like, I've already went through a full stack of these things. Oh, we're full of heavy oil. Okay, so let's grab a barrel, two of them, or drums actually. Can I do that here? I can. What do you know? Okay. Put the heavy oil drum down there. Heavy oil? No, I don't want heavy oil. <sighs> he spawned on his own. That's what happened here. Like, I, I probably, I might want heavy oil later on, but not right now. Which one's the heavy oil? Brown guy? Carousel. No. Resonant Ender? Nitrogen. I don't want you here either. Okay, so, well, we got a nitrogen. I got to put him away. Anyways, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope to see you next time. Go out there and have some fun. Thanks.